Greens and Wild, my name is Altair and welcome back to Valheim. As you can see, I'm standing in the forge and I have constructed a new item. It is the stone cutter. With the iron that we have collected, I could create like a stone cutter because I wanted to see what kind of stuff we can create and manage. And we can finally make stone walls, iron gates, and everything. It is time, guys. You have also received, I think, new stuff. Yeah, we received a new longship. That's awesome, we need 100 nails, deer hide, ancient bark 40, that's something for future episodes, but we've got a lot of opportunities now. I've also made the iron pickaxe and the iron shield, just because I don't want to die yet, and I've made a nice cool style this time, because on the previous shield I forgot it. And as you can see on my back I have a cape, the wolf fur cape, and that requires silver, guys. Because I was trying to mine stone at the mountain. Let me go there quickly. There we go. So I was mining stone, as you can see, for stone purposes building, of course. And I stumbled upon this thing. This is a freaking silver vein. This is silver. And as you can see, I'm not getting any coal damage. Because the cape gives me resistance versus frost. We don't need the potions anymore. Very well, very well. Now that I've shown that to you guys, it is time to hunt the sea serpent we're gonna take the harpoon we're gonna take a lot of food something that gives us a lot of stamina and we're going to try to drag him back to land and see if we can if we can conquer him but how are we gonna do that that's a different question i do not know yet if he swims away or if i'm if i'm out of stamina i don't have quite the idea maybe the potions yeah Let's take the potion. That's something that probably will help us a lot. Oh, we can try the poison arrows as well. Yes. We can try the poison arrows as well. We can try the frost ones as well. We got some flint. And we've got some we got enough arrows, I guess. That will do. And the most important thing, we've got the harpoon. We've got it. Okay, the carrots is running out. Let's eat the soup. How much stamina do I have? I have a lot now. Okay. Very well. Let's go. Let's not wait any longer. Let's just go and get the beast. So how are we gonna do this? I think I'm going to try to lure him again to the shore with the carve. And once I'm on the shore, I think I think I'm going to conserve stamina to the point that he retreats back into the ocean. And then I will try to drag him. Or can we maybe drag him to the shore? Can we drag him on land? That would be awesome. We could. Where are you, Mr. Big Fishes? Mr. Big Fishies. Where is the Big Fishies? Where is it? There is the Big Fishies. It is here. It is here. Yes. 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 Yes, we got it. It's still here. It's still here. C can I throw it right now? I think I missed it. Oh, I got him! 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 Go, 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 go! Keep on going straight, man! Oh, I got him! Oh, I'm dragging him! Oh, that's freaking awesome! I am dragging him! Oh, that's cool! Oh, that's cool! Oh, no! Oh, that's a lot of damage! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! No, 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 no! Oh, I'm not losing stamina this way! Only if he... Only if he struggles! Only if he struggles! No, get on land, get on land! No, 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 take the harpoon back! Take the harpoon! I got him! I got him! Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back! No, 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 no! You get back here! You get back here! Ah, okay, so that's going to be difficult. Let's take the ice arrows and let's equip the bow. Let's see how much damage we can do with this. Oh, that's a lot! That's 85! Because I, I know I read that the, the ice arrows hit a lot. <gasps> We got him, we got him, we got him. Come back. We got him. Got him. Closer, 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 closer. No, piggy, piggy, get away, get away, get away, get away, piggy. No, no, you come back, you come back, you come back, you come back. You come back. Okay. Let's take the bow. Oh, I can even shoot him with the bow while I'm harpooning him. Oh, that's nice. Uh, four. Stamina. Get him back, 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 get him, back, get, him, get, him, get, him, get him on land, we need him on land, we need him on land, this side, this side, we need him on this land, almost, almost, almost. 
We got him! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Oh, we got oh, serpent meat, serpent scales. We've got a lot of stuff. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Oh, I like that. That was so far. That was so freaking cool. That was really epic. Oh, that was a nice battle. Oh, I like that. Oh, we can conquer sea serpents now. What did we get? Serpent scales. But guys, these frost arrows are super strong against enemies in water. The harpoon dragging him on land and spearing him at the same time and uh, bowing him at the same time really did the job. Oh, nice. Can we make anything new from Sea Serpent hide in here? No, I don't see nothing that new. D rug, banners, wolf pelts, a raven throne. That's awesome. A dragon bed. Whoa, deer pelts, wolf pelt, feathers, iron. Nice. That's a bad fit for a king. As much as I like the base, it is getting a little bit cramped up. It's a little bit inconvenient. I do like it very much. We're still gonna come back here eventually, but we definitely need a base closer to, to this place. Maybe somewhere in the mountains or at the plains biome, somewhere between everything. So we don't have to run all that much. Of course we have portals and everything, but um, I want to make a different base, something larger, something bigger. And probably going to choose the meadows because that's the most peaceful environment we have and I love the music there so let's sleep it out and uh, see what we will do in the morning first of all what have we what can we do oh yeah by the way since we have the silver we've got a couple of new recipes like these wolf armor legs we've got Draugr Fang bow that's super cool 20 silver and it has poison damage on its own even without the arrows then we have the Huntsman Bow, that's iron, so I think silver is better or stronger than iron. Then if I'm not mistaken, we have something new as well. We have, oh, we've got Serpent Scale Shield, let's compare it to this one I have. Oh wow, he's got a lot more blocking power, a lot more, oh my god. And less movement penalty, because I've got minus 20 now. Okay, and we've got, this is the Ancient Bark Spear you've already seen, but now we've got the Fang Spear. The Ancient Bark is only 55 damage and the Ancient, uh, the Fang Spear, I mean, has 70 pierce damage, which is insanely strong. So I think, and then this one, guys, a Silver Sword with 75 Slash and 30 Spirit. I have no idea what Spirit damage is. A couple of questions that I have as well are, uh, where is it? For example, what are these eggs? Have not figured out, have not figured out what the Withering Bone is. So much questions, so much stuff, but this is going to be nice. Future episodes are going to be epic. So I guess we just teleport, because I think... Do I have a ship there? Hmm, not quite sure, not quite sure. If I don't have a ship there, I will just make a new one. Another carve, only fine wood, deer hide resin, bronze nails, that's something very simple. I've got plenty of those. So yes, we will see each other back once I reach the camp. Oh my god, the sea is so rough! It's like a freaking storm! I've got so much water on the ship already! Whoa, this is rough! Actually, looks cool from the from his point of view. Whoa! Oh my god, I would I would be seasick by by, <laughs> by now. Okay, I'm gonna sleep a little bit. Wait until he's there. This is gonna take a couple of hours. I see you soon, my friends. I see you soon. And the wind is completely against me. From this whole journey, it's not even a single time in the sails. It's always in our head, in our face. No help whatsoever, no. Hmm, guys, I think I reached some sort of dead end. Don't have... But it's still so far away. Hmm. I think I want to go around. I think I want to go around by ship. Finally reaching a turn. Hopefully this goes back around to the bone mass. And there is some nice encampments here. Looks very cool. Something looks looks like something we need to raid. We need to do an epic Viking raid on those footlings, funglings camps. But I definitely don't want to build a base in uh, in the plains biome. Those freaking dead mosquitoes will kill me hundreds and hundreds of times over. Imagine standing in the base, chilling, making a farm. Dead mosquito, BAM! Dead. Finished. 
I've already lost so many points. Let me see. What are my skill points already? 46, 44, 47. Oh, I think I managed to keep it about the same level. But I think I, I gained 3, 4 levels. Then I die. I lose 20. Death in Valheim is definitely not a big deal. But oh my god. It's so, so irritating to level up these skills. Because these, the progress, especially the shield. I just stood hours and hours and hours and I'm just blocking, blocking and blocking and blocking and blocking. Wood cutting is quite an easy one. Pickaxing, spear, every, the fighting things are easy. Sneak, only 10. And I've been sneaking quite a lot. Bowing, only 30. It goes quite slow. So if you die and you lose a couple levels, that's hours and hours of progress. Lost. Lost. Yes, you can back your items, but you know, getting items in Valheim is quite... It's so much easier than getting skill points. So that's why I try not to die, although I've died so many times. I even died recently. Yeah, there it is. I even died here once. I was just scouting about this location while I was looking for the crypts. Dead Skeeto. Bam! Dead. Finish. GG. Can try again later. Only just a little bit to go. We're almost at the location. And I've only encountered one sea turtle. So we got 30, 33 shittens. Chittens. Bone mass is probably, probably in the black, uh, in the swamps, what I meant to say. But I don't want to build a base in the swamps, definitely not. We are going to look for a place that's nicely centered between the mountains, the plains, the black forest, the swamps, something very nicely centered. So the bone mass is there. That's good. Now we know, now we try to look for a decent location to make base. I don't even mind if it's on that side of the ocean. That's okay, we can uh, do a little bit of swimming. But let's see what we have on this side of the land. On this piece of land. Maybe there's something nice. Guys, I've decided to go on land here. The little tour around the bone mass didn't bring any fruit. Didn't saw any mountains or a uh, variety of biomes. Everything is only swamps and plains. At the bottom right, we have also plains from here to there. So probably go, and go on land here and start scouting a little bit. See what we can find. Okay, let's see. We've got the swamps there and we've got the black forest here. Hmm. How come that I'm freezing? How come? I am wearing my cape. How oh, is it even possible? Maybe because I'm wet. Oh no, maybe it's because I'm wet. No, no, drink the potion, drink the potion, drink the potion. Oh, it's because I'm wet. It's because I'm wet. Oh no, 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 no. Get down, get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. Get down, get down, get down. Okay. That's good to know, guys. Lesson one learned. Do not go into the mountains when you're wet. Damn. That could have been very dangerous. Well, actually, you know what? I like this rock. And that rock, and that rock. Yes, and we've got a building over there, like a small tower. We can make this work. We can use that there, if we can restore it as a nice light beacon where we can... Uh, dock the ship we'll make it lot much larger make a stone stairs up to here and why not make a base inside the mountain for testing out let's see how deep we can dig inside the mountain now that i'm curious about it okay but he does destroy the upper level okay but that's not a big problem oh we can go quite far nice i like that all right can we make some sort of yeah, let's, let's start by making a workbench already. Can we make a torch some sort of? No, 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 no. Let's first of all just make the portal, shall we? Like, portal would be a good thing. Now we can... Home was the tag. Home. There we go. That should work. There, yes, it's connected. Let's bring over the stone cutter and a couple of chests and mainly a lot of wood. So we can start building over there. Or at least prepare to build a lot of stuff. So what are we going to need? A lot of stone are we going to need. A lot of normal wood. Let's run back again. Some items prevent from teleporting. Iron. Mm. We cannot teleport iron. Okay, so that will be a problem. Smelter. Certain cores stone. Are certain cores teleportable? They are and a charcoal is also teleport so we gonna we are we need to start from scratch can we teleport the 
normal scrap metal no we cannot as well hmm well for now i guess let's just take as much uh let's just make a, a little bit of wood no let, let's make something okay so okay now i see i cannot make anything here i need to re oh my god this is going to be a pain in the butt how are we going to do this how are we going to do this so we need to think about this how are we going to accomplish this let's put all the junk in here we need iron scrap we need to make everything from scratch from here because with all the necessary materials we cannot teleport which means we will have to scout this swamp area over here and probably the swamp area at the bone mass for another crypt and go mining there because otherwise we cannot build anything okay guys i think we will wrap this episode up i've got a lot of off screen mining and mountain deforming to do and hopefully by next episode we can start building at least at least like the stairs and the foundation of a base of a of a castle it's going to be difficult i think because we need to put everything inside we're going to have a forge a storage then definitely a brewery and i think we're going to go and extend a little bit to this side hopefully we can find somewhere some more decent grass because we we need a farm as well but uh, yeah, I think we've got everything we need. We've got a big quest ahead of us. But that will be for the future episodes. As always, hope you enjoyed watching it, guys. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, drop a comment down below. And I will see you in the next episode. Have a good day, everyone.